What's happening guys, it's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about operators. Operators are super important in computer programming, so pay attention. At least more than you paid attention in class. Because <laughs> that's probably why you're looking this up right now, you didn't pay attention in class, right? I know you, don't lie. The easiest example of using operators is in an arithmetic expression, such as 5 plus 5. This plus sign is an example of an operator. Both of these are examples of operands. So the things that the operators work on are called patients. Kidding, operands. <laughs> See what I did there? Because operators, you know, like, shh. Never mind. So you're probably thinking, like, didn't we discuss math and C like a million years ago? Yes, but there's more to operators than just basic addition and subtraction and even the assignment operator we talked about in the previous video. There is much more. And this video is going to introduce you to that. So as we discuss it in future videos, you have that organized structure. You can categorize things and have a nice organized understanding of C operators. It's also very important to understand that not all operators are used for math. Here is a perfect example, if you guys can even see that. This is the assignment operator, an equal sign. This isn't used for math. This is used to give a value to a variable. Well, there's operators for all kinds of things. When we get into math, there's only a couple operators. If we want to do some more complex stuff with math, for example, if we want to get the cosine of something, this is generally where functions would come in. Operators are usually more for the basic stuff, such as addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and yeah, we'll get into all that later. <laughs> I've mentioned it before, I am a firm believer that human brains like to categorize and group everything. So, there are groups or categories for the operators. The first are binary operators. I think I spelled this wrong. There you go. You can see that this has the term bi in it, and this refers to the number of operands. This is one of the three classifications. So I will write all three now. The first, which only has one operand, are called unary. The second are binary. And the third is ternary. So this is one operand, two, and three. Classifying the operators by the number of operands works great when you're first starting out. But there's actually another classification, you know, you know, I gotta make it even more confusing, right? And this is grouping them by function. Not function like computer science functions that you call, but function meaning what do they do? One example of a classification of this is arithmetic operators. Some of the other classifications of operators are logical operators assignment operators, and relational operators. And there's some more, but these are the foundational ones. The reason I gave you these two groupings, first classifying by the number of operands, and then grouping them by their function or how they're used, the reason I do all that is because I can describe an operator when I'm first introducing it to you, and you can already figure out a lot about it. For example, if I say, we are going to learn a new binary arithmetic operator, you can already figure out that, hey, it's going to have two operands and it's going to be used for arithmetic. So uh, you don't really need to know much more than that except what to put in. So yeah, guys, that is your introduction to operators. There's a lot of classifications here. Don't feel like you have to have it all memorized right now, but this is something you should familiarize yourself with. So when someone says, hey, it's a binary operator, you have an idea of what that means. You also need to know these groups, but don't feel like you have to know them right now because we are going to go through all of these. So thanks guys. I'm excited for the upcoming videos because we are going to be learning a whole lot of cool stuff. So thanks, and I'll see you in the upcoming videos. If you want to support this channel, please click like and subscribe.